Hello and welcome back to Pharma E class. I am Anindya Goswami and we were discussing flow of fluids, which is a chapter in the first unit. In the flow of fluids, we have already discussed about the basis of fluid flow, the different types of flow that is the streamlined flow and the turbulent flow or the laminar flow or the turbulent flow. The basic difference between the both of these flows we have discussed. Then we have moved on to the Reynolds experiment and subsequently we have quantified the Reynolds experiment. At the same time we have quantified about the Reynolds number. We have come to this very important slide that is if Reynolds number is the value of Reynolds number is less than 2000 then the flow is quantified or said to be as laminar and if the value of Reynolds number exceeds above 4000 then the flow is said to be turbulent and if the Reynolds number the value lies between something between somewhere between 2000 to 4000 the flow change between laminar to turbulent so this is a very important principle which is being given by Reynolds next we have done with the Reynolds number application and we have studied the Bernoulli's theorem and subsequently we have arrived at the Bernoulli's equation now this is a very important equation I want to recap it so Bernoulli's equation is given with this particular equation like PA divided by rho A plus XA plus U square A divided by 2G minus F plus W is equal to PB by rho B plus XB plus UB square divided by 2G and this is particularly called the Bernoulli's equation and for the measurement of the fluid flow in some aspect Bernoulli's equation is coming into play so we'll see later on what how does is what is, where does the application of Bernoulli's equation lies? So, <coughs> this is this application we had already discussed and then the methods of the measuring of rate of fluid flow we will start with this only that is the methods of measuring rate of fluid flow it can be classified by two basic, basic methods that is hydrodynamic methods then the basic the direct displacement method and somewhat then the dilution method and the direct weighing or measuring method and the pressure measurement method can be done by simple apparatuses like simple manometer, inclined manometer and differential manometers which we will study later on now we'll, let us come to the methods of measuring the rate of fluid by hydrodynamic methods like for the example of orifice meter, venturi meter, pilot tube and rotameter so today we'll start with measurement of the rate of flow of fluids by an orifice meter so this is the typical diagram of an orifice meter a very important diagram and quite routinely followed when we want to measure the rate of the flow of fluids so what is the objective to measure the flow of fluids and the velocity of the fluid uh, flow through a pipe in feet per second and to uh, determine the volume of the liquid passing per unit time that is feet cube per second or feet cube per minute or by feet cube per hour so this is the objective for what purpose the orifice meter has been designed and with the orifice meter definitely there is a manometer so it is a simple pipe if you have seen uh, before also so this is a simple pipe and the flow of fluid is happening from one side the, from the point A to the point B and definitely a manometer, a simple manometer is attached with it for its measurement. So come to the principle, orifice meter is a thin plate containing a narrow and a sharp aperture. So we are obtaining this or this is the orifice plate so inside this that particular pipe this movement is being restricted with the help of an, a plate. So orifice meter is a thin plate containing a narrow and a sharp aperture. When a fluid stream is suddenly allowed to pass through the narrow constriction, then uh, the velocity of the fluid at the orifice meter increases in compared to the upstream pressure. So whenever the fluid, whenever that particular point it reaches the orifice meter plate, the float of the fluid is definitely the velocity of the flow of the fluid definitely increases in compared to the streamline flow or in compared to the upstream pressure upstream pressure means the pressure at the point A from where the fluid is passing so if the fluid is passing in this direction and this is the orifice plate or the orifice meter so near the point where there is a small constriction the velocity is being uh, given as quite 
improved in compared to the upstream pressure which is at point A. Now this result in corresponding decrease in the pressure head and the pressure difference is measured by a suitable manometer. So why is the manometer attached with this, uh, with this thing? Because we have to measure the difference in the two points, the upstream pressure as well as the downstream pressure and the pressure which is measured which is uh, available at the orifice meter point near the orifice meter plate, the constriction. So a uh, manometer is attached with it so the result is a corresponding decrease in the pressure head and the pressure difference between the upstream and the downstream and at the point of the orifice plate it is measured with the help of a manometer come to its construction it is considered to be a thin plate containing a sharp aperture through which fluid flows so this is a pipe and this particular aperture is designed likewise that, that this thin plate it is coming here and there is a thin aperture through which the fluid is flowing. Generally it is placed between long and straight pipes. If you are visualizing this is as a pipe. So orifice meter is kept and the, and the pipes uh, it is thickened and it is narrowed. So the constriction appears like this only. This, this particular point. This is this yes this particular point. Normally it is placed between long straight pipe. For present discussion, let us consider that the plate is introduced into the pipe and manometer is connected at the points A and the points B. Okay. Now working when fluid is allowed to pass through the orifice, the velocity of the fluid at the point B increases, and as a result, at the point A, pressure will be increased. So when it is the fluid is flowing through the orifice with the velocity of the fluid at the point B, this particular point where it is the vena contractor, this particular point, it increases as a result, the pressure at the point A will also be increased. The difference in the pressure is definitely will be measured by the manometer and Bernoulli's equation is applied, uh, applied to the point A and the point B for the experimental condition. Just I was saying before that Bernoulli's equation will be applied in each and every each and every quantifications or measurements. So here also Bernoulli's equation is being applied and let us consider how it is applied. So the total energy come to its mathematical treatment the total energy given at point A is quantified as pressure energy plus potential energy plus kinetic energy and the total energy at point A is or can be other words in mathematical terms it is PAV plus XA plus UA square divided by 2G directly we are taking the values from the Bernoulli's equation now what is the Bernoulli's equation again this is the Bernoulli's equation so PA, divide, uh, PA divided by rho A plus XA plus UA square divided by 2 2G minus F plus W is equal to PB by rho B plus XB plus UB square divided by 2G. Now, in this particular case, there are some assumptions are being done. So, come to the assumptions and these assumptions have to be, we have to take into consideration for the, for understanding the mathematical equation behind the orifice matter. So, what are the assumptions given here? that let the sections of the pipe be horizontal and so that the heights of the point A and the point B are the same so that implies XA will be equal to XB so we will simplify this equation we will put these assumptions in this value so let us first see what are the assumptions are so if let the sections of the pipe be horizontal so the heights of the point A and point B is designated to be the same. So XA is equal to XB. Next, frictional losses are assumed to be inapplicable or inappreciable. That is, the value of F we can consider as zero. Where frictional losses is not that much, so we can neglect it. So F, the value of F can be put as zero. Next, the fluid flowing through the orifice is if it is the same liquid, if a single, uh, when a liquid is being considered, if it is considered as a liquid is the same, so rho A is equivalent to rho V because the viscosity is not changing, the density is not changing, so we can consider it like that only, so rho A is equal to rho V, which we will be giving it with rho only, okay. 
since no work is done on the particular liquid or by the liquid between the point A and the point B, only the liquid is moving through the pipe through the, and through, via the orifice plate. So W is also considered as zero. So we have to put these assumptions like X is equal to XB, then F is equal to zero, then rho A, A is equal to, equivalent to rho B or equivalent to rho, which is the value taken and W if it is considered as zero. So we have to put all these assumptions in the Bernoulli's equation likewise. So substituting the assumptions in Bernoulli's theorem, we get this particular mathematical calculation. Just see. PA divided by G into rho plus US square divided by 2G is equal to PB divided by G into P rho plus UB square divided by 2G or half 1 by 2G this is the mathematical equation UB square minus US square divided by 1 by G rho PA minus PB or in other words UB square minus US square is equal to 2G by G rho PA minus PB, this is equation 1. Next, UB square minus UA square is equal to 2G by G rho. Delta P, that is the difference of pressure, that is equation 2. Now, from the principle of statics, this delta P divided by G into rho is being give, given as delta H or the change of that heat in meters. It's so, so this the delta H, the value we are, I will, will assume like this only, the value of delta P, that is the pressure difference with respect to gravity and the density, it is given by delta H in meters, including the term in this particular equation 2, we can get UV square minus UA square is equal to 2G into delta capital H. Or in other words, root over u square minus u a square is equal to root over 2g into delta a this is the equation 3 and a quite important equation yes so root over u v square minus u a square is equal to root over 2g into delta h so the diameter of the vena contractor is not known practically so there are friction losses therefore the above equation can be suitably modified into root over u 0 square minus u a square is equal to c 0 into root over 2g divided by air into delta h so if the diameter of the orifice is one fifth of the diameter of the pipe then this u a square is the value is negligible so, the velocity of the fluid at thin constrictions may be written as U0 is equal to C0 into root over 2G into delta H and this is particularly the equation which is the basic equation for the quantification of an, of an uh, orifice meter. So, delta H is the difference in pressure head and it can be measured by the help of a manometer. You know what is delta H is? The C0 is the constant coefficient of orifice or which is also quantifying the friction losses and U0 is the velocity of the fluid at the point of orifice meter where there is the vena contractor. So this is the particular equation which is to, we have to quantify and we have to just we have to know we must know that is U0 is equal to C0 into root over 2G into delta H. So Come to the applications of orifice meter. The equation of orifice meter that is U0 is equal to C0 into root over 2G uh, into delta H is used to determine the velocity at either point A and point B and the ratio of U0 and UA can be related to the ratio of the area of the orifice to the area of the pipe which is normally or regularly known. Next, the volume of the liquid flowing per hour when velocity of the fluid and the cross section of the pipe are known. So these are the applications of orifice meter and in the subsequent lectures we will start or we will discuss the other measurement parameters.